Well, hello everybody, and welcome to my video about Go Foods Global and how uh, we can solve one of the most uh, sticky problems in the world right now. And uh, I'm going to I'm titled this one about the fiscal cliff because uh, as of the taping of this thing, we are about to go over the fiscal cliff. So this is also all about what you can do about it. You know, the, there's not a lot of complaining we can do. Voting doesn't do anything. They're all in the same uh, bailiwick, in my opinion. So uh, th there are some things that you can do, but voting and listening to speeches is not it. Trust me. This guy uh, is the man in charge, of the, one of the guys in charge. And uh, does he look worried whenever you see him on TV? He's, the, he's in charge of all our money. And uh, our money is basically worthless right now because this guy's been buying up all the government debt to uh, try and uh, stimulate things. And of course, all the debt was fraudulent, so now our money is based on fraudulent debt. This is a picture of the debt clock. You can go there and see it goes up about uh, $10 billion an hour. There's no stopping it. There's no, there's no coming back. We're going over the cliff. Uh, someone's going to have to take a huge haircut, and uh, that's a bankruptcy. They're not going to call it a bankruptcy, but that's what it is. So that's what's coming. But you know, there are millions of other things that we have to prepare against. Uh, things like 9-11, you know, the, those terrorists aren't going to go away. If anything, they're, they're more emboldened now than ever because they know that all they have to do is do something like this every 10 years or so, and then our stupid government will spend trillions of dollars trying to find them. And uh, of course, we can only find them one at a time, and there's millions of them. So uh, until the, until uh, Jesus Christ comes back and gives us a better way to handle these people, uh, this is the kind of thing that you have to worry about. It's not going to go away. If anything, like I say, we have emboldened them. So you want to always keep this image in your mind when you're thinking about the future. It's something that we have to worry about now as a nation. These, uh, these are things that can happen to you. Uh, in your own backyard. It's not just New York and Washington and Pennsylvania, but there's lots of other things too. You got to worry about hurricanes and tornadoes and lightning. There's plenty of natural disasters going on without human intervention. Fires like this rage out of control. Uh, you'd think that uh, the Pentagon, when we spend trillions of dollars on airplanes and ships and boats and men and equipment, you'd think they'd include something that could help fight these fires that rage out of control, scorching millions and millions of, of acres, killing animals, uh, you know, habitat left and right un, uh, with, uh, without stopping. The, the government can do nothing. Uh, when the floods come along after the fires, this is kind of funny because obviously that's what you'd want to save first is your TV, the heck with grandma and uh, the pets. <laughs> so I thought that was funny. But uh, it's not really funny when a flood does this to your community and uh, you're forced to make choices like that. Uh, so, and we see more and more of this natural type disaster every day. So it's not just. You know, just in uh, Katrina, it's it's coming everywhere. This is this is a you know the earthquake and subsequent tsunami in Japan just blew over all of their protections that they've they spent billions of dollars. So mankind is powerless against the for forces of nature, and we're powerless against the forces of ourselves. This destroyed you know killed thousands of people. Um, started a chain reaction of uh, their nuclear power plants breaking down and now today we can't eat tuna fish because of all the mercury from the Chinese power plants and the radioactivity from the Japanese power nuclear power plants uh, cold fire plant power plants uh, have have killed off the uh, ability to eat tuna fish safely and the Japanese nuclear power plants have killed off the ability to eat any kind of fish and it's getting worse this is a, a picture of part of the garbage that's floating around in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. They say it's now the size of the state of Texas, the garbage scum on the ocean. So we all, we, we, there's not much time left before all of life collapses. There's one of the beautiful tunas. I used to love to eat them. Not anymore. Can't give them to my children anymore. Can't have sushi, can't have canned tuna. One of the most delightful, delicious, nutritious, healthy things you can put in your body until now. Now you can't. Uh, the the uh, mercury will kill you. 
and uh, the government says it's safe to eat a couple of cans a year. Not true. You continue to eat tuna fish and you're going to get extremely sick and die. It's just get, it's just any kind of fish now. Is it getting the mercury or getting the radioactivity that's spreading all over the ocean? Uh, the, the air is the same thing. That's why there's so many people dying of cancer every day. It's coming from the air. The, the water we drink, it's, the, the government is powerless to stop it now. There's just too many of us on the planet. That's not going to stop either. Um, this is uh, some of the riots that are taking place in other parts of the world. They're starting to happen here as well. <clears throat> so you have to worry about civil unrest like this. You have to worry about a lot of things. And uh, the point is, we're going over a cliff, folks, one sheep at a time. And you and I are just sheep. And they're pushing us towards the cliff. It's, they call it the fiscal cliff, but a better terminology is the cliff. Now, there is good news, light at the end of the tunnel, uh, silver lining behind the clouds. Uh, I call it our do-it-yourself hedge fund. We have a product that can protect you from all of this stuff, and it has to do with our food. We have comes in boxes like this, stores for 25 years under your bed, in the closet, in your garage, without refrigeration. Go Foods Global has the solution. It's the only thing you can do is prepare your your family. Yes, you can send letters to the editor and you can you can vote if it makes you feel better, but it won't do when you do your family any real good in the long term. What does you good is being prepared for whatever happens. This is a picture of one of our uh, 30 day supplies. Uh, you get 22 entrees, 22 soups five milks, uh, three tropical fruits, 12 breakfasts. It'll feed your family for about a month or two, depending on the size of your family, of course, and uh, very economical. You cannot buy this in stores. You have to get it from people like me, just uh, independent business owners. I'm hoping you will become one with Join Us because we buy our food from our own food store at wholesale, and uh, it actually is free. I've never paid a dime for any of my food because it's coming to me from commissions, plus the commissions are now way more than the cost of my food. <coughs> and so it's also making me and my family financially independent. So whatever they do to the financial system, the food inflation and all of that, uh, I'm, I'm uh, relatively immune to all of that because I've got enough food to feed my family for a couple of years now. I, I won't feel good until I have five or ten years. Uh, food supply in my garage and that's where I'm headed and you should all be thinking the same way two or three months is not long enough well, when the disaster has come uh, the kind that I'm I, that I and a lot of people foresee it's going to be five or ten years folks before we get back to any kind of normal economy trust me on that uh, there's just not enough uh, uh, clever people with enough power to fight the forces of evil that's the way I look at it. And uh, you have to join the, the uh, people that are getting prepared because that's our only hope. Our company, our mission is to feed and prosper as many American families as we can. Just showed you pictures of the food. Here's some more close up. This is our uh, beefy chili. There's no meat of any kind in any of our dishes, um, but it tastes like there is. It's so delicious, it's amazing. It's the most unique food you've ever, uh, tried in your life completely healthy because there is no meat and fat and MSG and chemicals and and hormones or stuff like that they put in the normal food chain. We have a completely healthy food and natural. We know where it comes from on our farms and comes directly to the farm to us. We simply dehydrate it, take out the water, put it in uh, a mylar bag of our invention that uh, kicks out all the oxygen so it, it can last for 25 years without refrigeration. It's amazing. Uh, absolutely amazing food, so delicious. This is one of my favorites, the cheddar broccoli in the middle there. And the uh, chicken noodle soup, best chicken noodle soup you've ever had in your life, or the best cheddar broccoli you've ever had in your life. So delicious, nutritious, healthy. See, this is what will keep your family going when everything collapses. Otherwise, you try to go to the food, food, uh, the grocery stores and so forth, you're going to find empty shelves. And uh, if you don't have a supply of this in your home, a big supply, there's some of our breakfasts over there, uh, you're in a lot of trouble. Some of our beverages, uh, energy drinks, this is designed to keep you going. So what we want to do is get you prepared for the coming food crisis. That's what our company does. Go Foods Global. You want to get there and start 
trying sampling the food. We have free samples because pretty soon a can of soup could cost a hundred dollars. Now, how can you afford to feed your family when a can of soup goes to a hundred dollars? It's coming, folks. Could be a thousand dollars or even ten thousand dollars because of that man I showed you back there, who's now buying all the junk bonds in the world and our, and banking our our whole. Uh, monetary supply and uh, currency on junk bonds. That's what they're doing. They call it QE3, quantitative easing. The only easing that's going on is in that man's brain, uh, Bernanke. It's a little easier for him, uh, but it's not going to be easy for us. So this is opportunity knocking, folks. You're going to want to take it. Food is our greatest dependency. The average family spends about $15,000 per year on food, and you cannot stop that. You can, uh, you can leave your home, live in a car, but you still have to spend money on food if you have a family, and that's what we're here to help you do. It's, it's getting worse. 50% of the country now needs government help. 46 to 50 million people are on food stamp. 20, food stamps, 20,000 new cases signing up each day. 14 million kids going hungry every night. It's getting worse. So you have to do something. Again, this is opportunity knocking. Take the chance, take the time right now to see what we're talking about. We have wonderful, easy ways for you to build your business and get the food for free. The best, most recent way is the Make a Difference fundraisers. We're selling our food to churches and church organizations. So you land a church and they feed their whole congregation and you're getting paid. And plus they're uh, raising funds for their church mission and they're feeding uh, people in their local community because we give back one meal out of 10 that's consumed to food banks and uh, nonprofits like that in your local community. No other company does all this, folks. We put our, our, our food where your mouth is. That's our company slogan and it works. You just have a go party, like in August that we were, we introduced a go party month and people uh, had go parties all around the country and they made money and they started feeding people. So this is just uh, the guy that I, I think is indicative of what I'm trying to say. He's saying like, join us if you're cool, join us. Go to founder.gofoodsglobal.com, get your family prepared for any of those disasters. I only showed you a tip of the iceberg. I could go on for five hours about the natural and man-made disasters that can come our way. It can come, it, it will come probably from a way that none of us expect. Uh, it could be World War III, for God's sakes. I mean, it, it, we're always on the, on the uh, brink of that kind of disaster, too. Um, so, so what this does is it prepares you against anything. So you, you want to get in now, uh, uh, start l looking at the website, get some sample packs, start having parties, uh, contact me and I'll tell you all the latest uh, things that works really good with this business. Um, getting your local church is the way that everyone should start because it's a really easy way to start building volume underneath you as a business owner and you get paid on that volume every month. Are people going to stop eating food? Never. And so it just grows and grows and grows. It grows by word of mouth because we're the top of the food chain. That's what this is. Get on top of the food chain. Prepare your family for any of the disasters that are come out, coming out, coming around, which uh, the most serious threat that I see is the fiscal cliff. We're going to go off it, on, off the fiscal cliff on January 1st. They may be able to kick the can down the road for a few more months, but that's about it. Uh, it's, it's a $7 trillion problem, so I don't think they're going to be able to kick the can much longer. But if they can, uh, God love them. It'll, uh, it'll give more, more people a chance to get in before we finally go over the cliff. But there's no avoiding it. We're going over the precipice. I hope you can understand that by reading uh, reading between the lines of everything that's going on out there. People are scared. People are worried. And uh, I'm not, be, and, and people in, that I've enrolled in this organization no longer scared because we practice and preach what we, what we practice and we get people prepared for whatever comes along and that makes us more and more uh, safe and independent from all this nonsense. Thank you for watching. Get over to founder.gofoodsglobal right now if you can. If not, watch this again if you have to, but get there for God's sakes and protect your family. Thank you. God bless. Have a great day.